Hi, I'd like to go over with you this new course that we're releasing called The Spine. It's Anatomy, Biomechanics, and Diseases. Um, it is narrated, but I've shut off the sound so that I can talk. What uh, makes this course really interesting is its extensive use of animation and um, interactivity. And it's academically rigorous, but we did want to have a little fun while we're going through all of this. Um, clearly stated learning objectives, easy to use menu on the left side so you always know where you are, some fun interactive things to teach people the fundamentals so even if you know nothing about the human spine by the time you get done with this you'll be pretty uh, aware and you can make mistakes but eventually uh, you'll get things right and then we can go a little bit further and talk about details of how the spine is composed and why it uh, continues to stand upright. If we um, use this uh, clever drag bar, we can rotate in three dimensions, and at certain key points, we point out specific features. And we like to call this uh, soft pages. A little idea we came up with. Um, if we get down into the, the spine anatomy, we can have some more fun um, talking about the different regions of the spine. And again, uh, we use our soft pages so that we can go into some detail and incorporate a 360 degree view of the spine. And we go through each section of the spine in the same way. Hopefully teaching in an enter entertaining and highly visual way. So here we look at the two major ligaments of the spine. Um, we discuss major muscles of the back. And again, we can zoom in, take away muscle layers, and identify um, the individual muscles. We can look at the nerves and understand uh, the central and peripheral nervous system, the spinal cord, um, and its uh, motor roots and sensory roots, the spinal nerves and their function. Oh yeah, we've got our little Skinner uh, who has a tip for us once in a while. And here it gives a little more detail on the subject. Uh, a little bit of fun. And now if there's just a uh, plain text recap and an interactive quiz at the end of each of the major sections. So if we click on the right pedicle, oops, we made a mistake. So we get a little clue and we click on the correct uh, location. And then we go on to the next question, uh, spinal process. Whoops, that's not, there's the spinal process. Okay, right. And we go on this way until we get through the entire course. Oh, not right. Okay, there we go. And so on. Making mistakes, but being corrected. Okay. And let's see, I think that's about it. Um, there we go. And one more. The motor nerve roots are anterior because they have greater protection there. And that's the last thing we want to go. Okay, congratulations. We're ready now to move on to the next section of um, spinal bio biomechanics. And here we have uh, fun things to learn about basic muscle actions. Um, compression and tension. Have a little story to tell about Jessica jumping up, and we look at the different forces that affect her spine during that motion. We again look at shear forces in the same way. Torsional forces, range of motion, and um, load balancing. Here's range of motion of the cervical spine and the thoracolumbar spine.
Okay, and again we have quizzes. Uh, one neat feature is we can launch the glossary, which um, has audio pronunciation. Comes in handy for uh, some hard to pronounce terms. And we go through um, all of the terms that we discuss in the course, or in the glossary. And that about wraps it up. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you're interested in finding out more, you can go to insightmedical, one word, dot org. Thanks for your time. Bye now.